In this tutorial, we're going to show you how you can purchase credits within Dispute Panda so you can send mail out through the system, as well as how you can get discounted credits, as well as how credits never expire and all of your user settings. So when you first log into Dispute Panda, you will be on the dashboard here. You can get to your credit purchasing section by clicking on the balance and it opens up directly into the settings billings area. Another way, if you're on your dashboard or any screen within Dispute Panda, you can click the three dots to the bottom left here. You can click settings and it opens up there as well. You can also click the three dots and you can click billing and it opens up as well. Three dots and then you will see settings, billing, training, feedback, and sign out. If you were to click training, it takes you to the training tab, which gives you our attack guide, as well as all the trainings that you need to understand and use Dispute Panda effectively to get the results that you deserve. If you click the three dots and you click feedback, you can submit a feedback request as in suggestions that you want us to include in the software. Now on to purchasing credits. I'm gonna click the balance here. It's gonna to come to this screen. So the round cost in Dispute Panda is $17 for any non-static attack. If you're using Credit Dino and you import a Credit Dino credit report via one-click import, your attack costs will be free every 35 days. However, you may need to purchase credits for mailing. So you can come in here and you can purchase credits and the minimum is 20. So you can go 21 and beyond, 20 and above. Now you see a few boxes here. Since the credits in Dispute Panda do not expire, and you may want to use a different credit report provider, say your client is using something else and you can't get them to switch over to Credit Dino, no problem, you can purchase credits and we will recommend that you purchase at one of the tiers. So instead of your attack cost being $17, if you purchase at the 250 tier, you're gonna get a 15% bonus in credits, which will bring your effective attack cost down to $14.78. It still would deduct $17, but because we gave you bonus credits, it's going to effectively be 14. That's how that works. 500 makes your attack cost 13. 1,000 makes it $12.59. 3,000 makes it $12.14. So as you get more and more clients, they may or may not be using Credit Dino, which means you may have to pay for your attacks to Equifax, Experian, and TransUnion. Now, to purchase credits, you can come here and you can put in 20, you can click a button you can go to checkout here and you will follow this process for checking out. This toggle here allows you to switch over to ACH if you want it to. The initial setting is on debit or credit card and I'm gonna go through and purchase credit so you can see how it updates the balance. So when you purchase credits, you'll see a screen that says order complete. If it did not go through for whatever reason, you'll see our error message and then you'll receive an email. Nine times out of 10, if your credit purchase doesn't go through, it generally has something to do with either your bank blocking the card or you didn't input the card number properly or the CVV. So when you hit dismissed and you will see the balance has upgraded to $20, which is what I purchased. Now, if I wanted to purchase at the 250 level, you will see 250 go in and then you'll see a 15% bonus. Now let's navigate through our settings tab. So once again, let's go back to our dashboard. I wanna show you how to get to your settings. You're gonna hit the three dots, left click, and then you will go to settings here. Now the profile tab, you can change your first and last name, your phone number and your email address. It's important to have this accurate. As you add clients and you upgrade to the Speed Panda Pro, your clients will have a secure client access. And this is the information that they will see. They're going to see your first and last name, your email address, the phone number. They're going to see your profile picture. So you want all of this updated. If you do need to reset your passwords, you can come in here and reset your password here. Your organizational tab here. Your organizational tab breaks down your company logo and everything. So keep in mind, manage and edit all your company's information. The information here is what will be used in your safe client access portal. So safe client access portal is the encrypted white label portal that your clients will have when you upgrade to Dispute Panda Pro. So your clients can put in their documents, your clients can see their updates, your clients can see their and we'll have another tutorial on Dispute Panda Pro and why you should definitely upgrade. So you can add your company logo here. You can put in your company name, your website URL, the support phone number, support email, your privacy policy, 
your business address, you can put in your service agreement. Because once again, once you upgrade to the Speed Panda Pro, your clients will have an encrypted portal where they don't have to contact you as much. They can just log into their portal. They can see the status of everything. They can send messages to the portal and they can sign agreements. They can use everything in there. Next thing is team members. So a lot of softwares do not provide you team members and dispute pan security is a number one priority for us. So instead of you sharing the same email and password, we would want you to add a team member. So you add a team member so then you can see all their activity of what they're doing for you. So say you have a VA or say you hire your child because you want to pay your child via a paycheck from your company so they can invest in a Roth IRA. Or they can possibly be extremely wealthy. But say you hire your child, you don't want to give them your same administrative email that you use to log in and do everything. Give them their own username and password. Let them log in. Let them send the mail. Let them do the attacks and so on and so forth. Or it could be a VA or another team member. Your affiliate links here. So this is once you sign up for Credit Dino on the dashboard, or you send an email to support at creditdino.com and they provide you your affiliate link, that is what you'll put here. So when you send your client the safe client access portal information, they can automatically see your affiliate link. You don't have to manually send them anything and make sure you always hit save changes as you're going forward on these things here. Billing tab breaks down where you can purchase credits and upgrade to Dispute Panda Pro. So once again, if you wanted the secure client portal, you wanted Zapier integrations, you wanted the re-import summaries, you wanted all the special features that come with Dispute Panda Pro, the CRM component of it, so you can run your business super effectively, then you can just easily upgrade here. You click the upgrade to Dispute Panda Pro button and it takes you through the screens here. And of course you purchase credits down here. Your round calls is any non-static letter. And before you are charged anything within Dispute Panda, there will be a confirmation screen. So you can't accidentally spend your credits. And here are the different tiers. Most popular is the $1,000 tiers because the credits within Dispute Panda never expire, but you can always manually purchase credits as well. And then your invoices let you know all your information. So as you see, this is when the credits were purchased. If I had Dispute Panda Pro in this account, this will show when that occurred. At the end of each month, you'll have a statement breaking down the prior activity from the month beforehand. Activity. Now, activity shows you all your paid activity that occurs. For example, if we once we get into the tutorial of creating attacks, we'll come back here and you'll see the attack information here. Then you'll see the mailing here. So you'll be able to have everything documented. So as your team or you or your VAs or your child is doing work for you, you can come in here and look at the activity tab and see exactly what was done when it was done. Integrations are just Speed Panda Pro feature. This is if you want to add Zapier to it, which allows you to connect to over 3,000 different apps, which gives you way, way, way more autom automation. And we'll cover that in another tutorial in the referrals. As you upgrade and you get into the Speed Panda Pro, there is a referral program as well, which we'll cover later also. That is how you purchase credits, and that is how you update and review all of your user settings within Dispute Panda.